everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Kat and for today we're gonna be taking a look at the yes style advent calendar this is my first year actually being able to get a hold of this I missed out the last time and I was super bummed because I absolutely love yes style it's kind of similar to like Amazon and Timu and a whole bunch of other online like warehousey type things um, just that with yes style everything that you're getting is skincare makeup clothes home decor things but it's all from places like Japan South Korea China things like that and so I love picking up some of their skincare and makeup it's so much fun I also have a ton of like super cute hoodies that I've gotten with like little bear ears and they're all fuzzy so yes style is definitely one of my favorite sites to go on I really miss my time that I had in Korea and so it's just a way for me to keep shopping some of the favorites that I had from while I was there so I had like all of my alarms and everything just ready to go so I am so excited to pick this up and it is huge like look how big this thing is and it is heavy so you have a drawer down here for half of the boxes that you can kind of pull open I don't want to mess up the box too much so I'm gonna be I'm gonna set it down to do this and then the lid pops off for the other half of the boxes so we are going to go through everything I'm gonna set it down on my chair over here and we are just immediately gonna jump right in I am so excited for this I avoided any spoilers just because I wanted to give you guys my like actual reaction to everything so we're just gonna jump right in <laughs> All right, that took a whole lot of effort to get that bottom drawer out. So. All right, we are going to jump in with day one. And the design of these boxes is just so stinking cute. Like, I can't even handle it. So day one is this adorable little box that has a red panda holding a makeup brush on it. Look at how cute that is. I mean, it is absolutely adorable. So I am going to carefully open the box. And it is a heavy product. So this is a deep clear cleansing balm. And that is very exciting. Is this, this looks like a full size item. So that is super cool. It's from the company Pyongkang Yol, um, which is very interesting. I am going to open this because I want to see what it looks like in here. Nothing like a good cleansing balm. All right, so this is the jar. Very good size. That is awesome. And then inside, it comes with a little baby spatula. And then when you open it up, it is a standard balm that you have inside of there. So that is fantastic. I had commented on that with the balm that we got in the Glam Shop box too. I love a good cleansing balm because I love to do a double cleanse and the balms are really good as your first round of cleanse and then to get in there with another kind of foaming cleanser or something like that afterward is one of my favorite things. So that is a great first box. So I'll put this guy back in here. Now box number two is super cute, has just a little, what looks like maybe some kind of skincare product on the cover. And then when we open it up, inside here we have Love Beam Cheek Balm by the brand Lily by Red. And that sounds lovely. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. Okay. This packaging is so cute. It's a little heart. I mean, that's one of the things that I love about like Korean and Japanese beauty products is the packaging alone is just absolutely adorable. And it looks like it is a cream blush on there. Very, very nice shade. So that is awesome. I have a ton of cream blushes already though. And so I don't wanna get into another one. So I think that this guy is going to potentially also go in the advent calendar for you guys. Box number three is very good size. It looks like some kind of lip product on the top, but this is a big, big box. What is this? Kahi is the brand. Interesting. I'm right, gonna have to carefully open this. I have no idea what it is. So let's see here. The packaging is definitely very interesting. Um, what's funny is that the like paper 
portion on here is kind of has a feel of like a egg carton and so like that's very interesting so let's see what we have here it is a bottle of some kind this is what it looks like in there and this guy it has like a a longer like you can twist it and this product comes out and then you can untwist it to reduce it back down which is nice but there is like a weird battery thing at the bottom of it that I'm trying to figure out like what is that what is that even for I wonder if that's just the mechanism that's pushing it up um which is very interesting um I mean the container is, is super cute multi balm more fermented oil so I guess this is a lip balm that's super cool. I mean, I like the packaging. It's very unique. So, all right. <laughs> Box number four is a little bit of a thinner guy and it has what looks like a lip pencil on the front. This is a glittering eye stick from Twinkle Pop. Okay, in the shade Glit Me. All right, let's see what it looks like in here. It's a nice little pencil. Man, I am really struggling with which way to open these guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a very kind of champagne-y beige shade that you can roll out on there and then close back up. So I would say it's thin enough that you could either use it as like a bit of a liner or you could also use it just to cover your whole lid however you would like. So that's kind of cool. Box number five looks like it has some kind of cute lotion on the outside. And there is a large box of some kind in here. This is calming serum with green tea and panthenol from Beauty of Joseon. This is what the box looks like. Let's have a look-see. So this is the serum. You can definitely tell there's some green tea in there. It's a very cute bottle with a dropper inside. I, I really like that. That's super cute. Okay. All right, box number six has a cute little, what looks like either a lip gloss or perhaps a mascara on the front. And inside we have an Han All Brow Fixer. So it looks like a brow product of some kind. It is definitely in a tube, much like what they had on the cover. So that is interesting. Yep, and it is a tiny little brow product. And it looks like it is clear liquid. So that's probably if you were someone that enjoys like stiffening up your brows um, and having that kind of more feathered look, this would be a great product for you. And then box number seven is a bit of a larger long guy here. And let's see what we've got. Ooh, Retinol Intense Advanced Triple Action Eye Cream. You can never have enough retinol products. That is fantastic. I'm super excited about that. Okay. And this is a good size tube for an eye cream. Holy smokes. And this is by the brand Some By Me. That is very, very cool. Um, this is definitely one where they're saying to use it at night after you are done cleaning your face. So I am very pumped about that because I love retinol products. Box number eight. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little carousel with makeup products swinging around it. That's cute. I love this packaging, especially like the ones that have the little animals on there. There are several more that are cute, like the little red panda. So very excited. This is from Etude, very nice. This is the Lash Perm Volume Fix Mascara in the shade black. That is awesome. You get a full size tube of that. I am not going to open it because I don't want to dry it out. And so I'm just going to keep it in the box, but that is awesome. So Etude is a very good makeup brand. Um, and so I'm very, very excited about that. Number nine. Oh, this is one that has one of the cute animals on there. It has a little fawn and she's riding in a sled that's being pulled by a reindeer. That is so cute. 
Oh my goodness, I cannot get over this packaging. And the fact that all of these products are like full-size products is just awesome. So this is an essential blending hand cream. Very nice. And this is a vegan product. And it is by the brand Frudia, which I have not heard of before. But that is very, very nice. Um, natural essential oil scent deep moisturizing benefits and with cold pressed oil. I do have a ton of hand creams already, so I think I'm gonna include this for the giveaway for you guys. Box number 10, a bit more square shaped and it has a cute little serum bottle on the front there. Ooh, this looks like another makeup product. Oh yeah, yes, very nice. Okay. So this is from McQueen, New York, and this is a beige brown. I think this might be a bronzer. Let me see here. Pretty much just like, ooh, okay. It might be a triple contour product. Yes, it is. So this is the case on the outside. And then when you open it up, it has a mirror and then three different contouring shades on there. Definitely for lighter skin tones which I mean to me is not unexpected um, for, for Asian products just because that makes sense um, for their market over there. And so that is very, very cool. Number 11 is another bigger box. We've got this guy right here, which is super cute. And let's see here. I cannot get over how big these products are. Oh, ooh, yes. Okay, this is Fry, uh, unique i think and it is a centella calming daily sunscreen i love asian sunscreens they are so so good so i will definitely be holding on to this guy uh, and it's such perfect timing too because my my face uh sunscreen is like about to run out so this is perfect very very nice comes with like a little squeezy tube on there this is the front of it it's a good size bottle see here how does it smell I'm gonna apply a little bit onto my hand there it, it, it has no scent whatsoever so if you are someone that is looking for an unscented uh, sunscreen this would be a really really good one for you to check out box number 12 is a little bit of a smaller guy has some hot air balloons on the side there let's see what we've got Ooh, this might be a lip product Dew Tint Muse. This is also a vegan product. And this is in the shade Soul Soul. But the first soul is spelled like the capital city in South Korea of Seoul. So that is that is funny. <laughs> okay, and it's square shaped. I love the different shaped containers for lip products. So this is very, very fun. And you can see just such a wearable shade on there. That is awesome. 13 is a bit of a heavier box. I'm guessing there might be skincare in here. Yes. Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Essence. Very, very nice. That is awesome. All right, let's check this bottle out. Ooh, that's a nice looking bottle on there. Very cool. And then it just has a little tub thing right here, a little squirt thing. So that is awesome. Just, uh, this is the second hyaluronic product that we've gotten because the other one that we got in the last advent calendar was also a hyaluronic product. So that is super fun. I'm just gonna be all the hydration for the next year, you know, really hydrate the skin so it doesn't dry out and get wrinkly. <laughs> Box number 14. There's a little bit of a chunky boy here with what looks like a little lip pencil on the top. And ooh, this is another makeup product, I think. Okay, let's see here. Stay Fixer Packed uh, by Awake, and it's a vegan product again. I wonder if this is a pressed setting powder. Certainly looks like it. Oh, this, I mean, this is a very nice container. So you've got magnetic closure on there, comes with a little powder puff, and then when you open it up, yes, this is a transparent setting powder. Very, very nice. 
that is fantastic and as we know i don't use setting powders so this guy will be coming to one of you that container though was really really nice i love when they have like the little puff in there and then a little door to open and close it i just think that looks so cute and it's like it just reminds me of like the makeup that uh, family members of mine had when i was growing up and i just i felt all fancy when i would try and open them box 15 has that same adorable little fawn on the front and it's a bigger box let's see what we've got Ooh. The packaging already is just absolutely adorable on this. Look at it. The little blueberries and the flowers. Oh my goodness. So this is a blueberry and cream ice pop hydrogel eye mask. That sounds amazing. <laughs> okay. So it's a two-toned hydrogel mask with shea butter, blueberry fruit extract, and it also has some retinol in there as well. I mean, they are really looking out for our eyes on this one. That is awesome. So this is the container. And then when you open it up, it is sealed. So I'm going to keep it sealed for now. But I am very, very excited about this because, I mean, we love it. So essentially, the picture that they showed on the back right here is these little uh, strips that you can kind of just set on your under eye. And it says that there are 60 total, so 30 sets. So it's a 30 day supply that is in there. So that is awesome. Very, very excited about that. And I wonder if they smell like blueberry. <laughs> 16 is a little bit of a thinner, lighter box. I wonder if it might be like an eye pencil or a lip pencil of some kind. It's a pencil of some kind for sure. So this is Holika Holika Double Eyelid Liner. So it is an eyeliner and rose tinting. What does that mean for the color? Either way, I am going to set this aside for you guys um, because I have way too many liners right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number 17. Ooh, it's a heavier box again. Has that cute little carousel, this time with little ponies on it. And when we open it, it looks, oh, Cost RX, heck yes. I have the um, snail mucin uh, essence from Cost RX, and I really, really like it. This is the Hyalur Hyaluronic Acid 3 with ceramide NP, and it is hydrating and retaining moisture. This is very, very nice. It's a serum. Ooh, is a bit of a thicker bottle. So that is it right there. Very, very nice. Okay, so we have two hyaluronic acid products, which is perfect. I also really, really like how a lot of the Asian skincare products and even their makeup products just do such a better job of really letting you know when the expiration date is. And so all of their products, both on the boxes as well as the products themselves, are all very clearly stamped with when they expire. So I think that's one of the things that I really, really appreciate because in a lot of American products, I never know. I'm like, has it already expired? What's, what's the deadline? And it just puts on there like six months after opening and I'm like, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Number 19, oh my goodness, how cute is this? It's got a little polar bear holding some skincare on there and it's also a heavier box. Yes, more skincare. So I would say like so far, this has had like a good mix of both beauty and skincare products, but I would say definitely leaning more heavily to the skincare side. So that is very interesting. And if you are someone that loves your skincare, this is definitely gonna be worth it for you because <laughs> I love their skincare. So this one is a foaming cleanser. Very nice, I love foaming cleansers. They are the second portion of my beauty cleansing that I will do when I'm removing makeup. Very nice, this is from Dear Claire's. It's moisturizing and soothing care. Moist foaming cleanser gives hydrating refreshment that deeply cleanses and conditions skin and pores. So that is this whole bottle. Very, very nice. Box number 20 is also a bit of a heavier guy, right? Well, no, it's medium, I would say. Medium heavy. <laughs> so, ooh, this looks like another makeup product. This is the 
Peripera Rosy Nude Ink Velvet Lip Tint and Liner Set. That is awesome. So I don't use lip liners a ton, so I'm not gonna open this one. I am going to keep it nice and sealed and it will also go into the future advent giveaway. All right, number 21 is this box right here. It looks like more skincare. This is PHA Resurfacing Glow Peel. Very nice. And this is papaya fruit extract and cucumber fruit extract. So that is awesome. I am someone I will on occasion do chemical peels rather than just exfoliations. Um, but you do need to be very careful and make sure that um, you're not going to run into any kind of issues. Um, and you always want to make sure that you're applying extra skincare after a chemical peel. So that is of note, but this box looks very, very good. And let's see what the product looks like on the inside. So this is it right here and very nice. It's on, so it says a 10% PHA resurfacing water peel that removes dead skin cells to leave your skin fresh and glowing. Very, very nice. I am excited about that. And I love how a lot of these, so sometimes you'll find that um, the products will only have Japanese or Korean or something on there and a lot of these skincare products also have English instructions on there too. So I really, really appreciate that. Not necessary, but like, I really appreciate it. <laughs> so then 22 is this guy has a little itty bitty eyeshadow palette on the front. I don't think it's an eyeshadow palette inside though. It is not. It is a pencil and it's from Art Class and it is a wooden pencil um shining linen is this the shade and so i would imagine that this is kind of an eyeshadow pencil that you can use very similar to the other eyeshadow pencil uh, as far as the shade goes just that this guy is a little bit of a thicker one box 23 this is adorable beauty hotel has like a little coffee looks like a starbucks cup on there on the front of the hotel and it is heavier so i'm guessing skincare again Maybe, what is this guy? Yes, this is a Phyto Plump Collagen Night Cream from Maison and that is absolutely awesome. I think I've tried a couple products from this brand before. 75% plant-based, non-GMO ingredients, no animal ingredients, no artificial color, and no artificial scent. Very nice. And this is a nighttime cream. This is the container right here. Collagen is also awesome. One of the interesting things is that collagen has kind of come up recently as a big thing to help with uh, like plumping your skin and helping to um, make it softer and just very, very nice. Um, however, people are seeing that it is included in like products that you can drink as like a supplement. And the reality is that with collagen, it's usually only beneficial when directly applied. Um, and so creams are very, very good and effective, but ingesting it doesn't do nearly as much. Um, and so that is one of the kind of things that I think is a bit of a falsehood where they just use it because of the name claim. Um, but at least the last time I had done research on it uh, for my first master's degree, um, ingesting collagen does not do the same thing. So just be watchful of that. And then number 24, our final box on here is another bigger box with a little bit of a blush heart on there. Ooh, is this an eyeshadow palette? It is. So from Unleashia Glitterpedia, we have this entire eyeshadow palette and it looks like it opens up kind of like a book. So let's open it up here carefully. And there is the eyeshadow palette on the inside. Very sparkly, very neutral shades. And it looks like the entire thing is different shades of like glitters and shimmers and metallics. So this is the inside of it. And you can see there's no matte shades whatsoever. It's just sparkly, glittery shades, which is super fun 
So this would be a great companion palette for any eyeshadow palette that you have just to add like that hint of sparkle. And I will say that like um, Asian beauty brands when it comes to the hint of sparkle, they are very good for like work friendly looks. And so if you were wanting to have just a tiny little bit of sparkle that's not too crazy to where you can wear it at work, Palettes like this are absolutely perfect for that. So that is the entirety of this advent calendar and I think it was an awesome mix of both makeup and skincare, which I really, really liked. Um, I didn't know which way it was gonna go, if it was gonna be more beauty, um, more makeup products, or if it was gonna be more skincare. So I think this was actually like a really, really nice mix of the two. I absolutely love Korean skincare. It is one of my favorite things. So I loved all of the skincare products that uh, I got. A lot of it was for like anti-aging, which I definitely appreciate because <laughs> I know that, uh, even though I have been blessed to like look younger than what I actually am, I can see it that I'm slowly starting to age more and so I'm like, hey, let's get on that early. <laughs> so I thought this was a great advent calendar. Definitely I'm gonna pick it up next year too, but I would love to know what you guys thought of everything. Were there any products where you're just like, eh, or were, th I mean, for me, the eh products are probably like the eyeshadow pencils or the liners and things like that just because I have like very specific liners that I will use for my waterline. I don't really use liners on the top of my lid and I use eyeshadow palettes instead of pencils. Uh, but if you're looking for like a one-stop shop for just a very quick eye look, the eyeshadow pencils are fantastic. And I used to use them a lot um, before I started getting all of this. <laughs> so I think there's definitely absolutely a market for them out there. Um, but let me know what you guys thought of everything. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not, as we always do here. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, I would highly suggest subscribing. We are going to be doing a bunch more unboxings, testing out of a whole bunch of different makeup that I am very excited to show you. I will have my rankings for the Halloween palettes that I picked up coming up very, very soon. I'm just waiting on the unearthly cosmetics ones that are already in the mail. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for them to get here so I can try them and then let you guys know what my favorite were. Um, but other than that, that is it for the upcoming months. Uh, but definitely stick around for December because that is where I will be putting together the awesome advent calendar giveaway for you guys. So you'll definitely want to stick around for that. But that is it for this one and you guys just go have a good one.